Geologists map nine magnitude earthquakes impact on the Cascadia subduction zone. And we're going to have a map here by the Department of Natural Resources. Community members are encouraged to have at least 30 days of supplies, as it may take days or weeks before help can access you uh, and your home after a large earthquake. New maps through a study by geologists at the Washington Geological Survey Division of the Washington Department of Natural Resources show that a nine magnitude earthquake could be devastating to the state's coastlines and roadways, including along the entirety of the Olympic Peninsula. The new study, which became available days after the undersea volcano eruption by Tonga, in uh, that's just uh, off Fiji, between Fiji and uh, uh, New Zealand, on January 15, used a simulated magnitude 9 earthquake on the Cascadia subduction zone, according to DRN staff, Department of Natural Resources. Geologists predict the first tsunami wave could reach La Push 10 minutes from the start of the earthquake and Washington's Pacific coast in about 30 minutes. Port Angeles would see waves about an hour from the earthquake start, Dun uh, Dungeness in about 80 minutes, Miller Peninsula about 85 minutes, Blinn 90 minutes, and Discovery Bay about 95 minutes. Along the Pacific coast, flooding could reach or exceed 60 feet. 60 feet. And that's unimaginable. Uh, geologists predict that 100 foot at Yellow Banks Beach and Olympic um, National Park, that would be 100 feet. The Sikkim area could see inundation of about 10 feet in the Dungeness, 7 feet at Port Williams County Park, and portions of Gardner and Miller Peninsula, 6 feet at Washington Harbor, and 5 feet at Blinn. Discovery Bay has the largest potential for flooding at the predicted 33 feet, which would likely block and destroy portions of U.S. Highway 101 and State Route 112. Commissioner of Public Lands Hilary Franz said via press release that the report shows what we've known long we've long known there will not be time for our coastal communities to react after a major earthquake so it's vital we provide these detailed models and keep our communities safe when not if the next Cascadia megaquake hits the DNR staff said that last Cascadia eruption occurred 321 years ago and experts estimate that a 10 to 17 percent chance of a rupture is it would take place in the next 50 years. Geologist models does not include tide stages or local tsunamis rigged by earthquakes induced landslides. Second's efforts efforts have been made for years to prepare for a major disaster across the peninsula, including Joyce, Seccom, and West End. Dan Orr, assistant fire chief with Clallam County Fire District 3, said they have 14 Community Emergency Response Teams, or CERT, S-E-R-T, across the Seccom area, with 445 trained individuals and 12 training now who could be integral to helping their neighbors in an event like a Cascadia earthquake. Or said, we're happy DNR is starting to recognize the potential that could happen here with the threat of Cascadia or a large seismic event. Blaine Zecheneli, Disaster Planning EMT for Clallam County Fire District 3, said he was surprised by DNR's data on subsidence or the amount of sinking or caving in of some areas. Geologists report that tsunami would first arrive as a trough with sea level gradually receding in all intercoastal waterways. Zecinelli said that uh, new data shows 13 feet inundation in Ney Bay and along Route 112 that would render much of the road irreparable as it would be at sea level. For the uh, Juan de Fuca Strait, our advice of being higher than 50 feet remains the same, Zecinelli said. Our CERT effort continues to focus on effective search and rescue for the second area. This report validates the need for this and shows we were on track. Previously, Orr said, sizable islands would form in the second area following a large earthquake from Discovery Bay to Blinn 
from Blin to Dungeness River and from the river to McDonald Creek and from that creek to Siebert Creek. Over the, uh, the other overpasses and smaller bridges may collapse and block vehicle traffic to create micro islands as well, he said. Community members are encouraged to have at least 30 days of supplies as it may take days or weeks for help uh, before help can access you and your home after a large earthquake. Orr said they continue to offer CERT classes during the COVID-19 pandemic with safety protocols. They are also emphasizing efforts to train people to shelter in place during emergencies. And they've signed a contract with Trinity United Methodist Church to be a shelter during an emergency like a Cascadia quake. We're talking about a, a mega quake here. Orr said they're working with other faith-based communities to consider being shelters with support from Clallam County possible too. For more on emergency preparedness, you can visit the sites that they have here. And this is by Matthew Nash, Second Gazette on Bended Reality. And let's just take a look at the uh, tsunami forecast model that uh, happened with the 9.2 magnitude earthquake Cascadia, North America on January 27, 1700s. This was the uh, tsunami that reached um, Japan. And you'll notice the hours that it takes to go across the Pacific Ocean. support my patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what i have on my youtube channel thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting you'll find the patreon account details in the description box below